Hello, my name's James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London. I'm the admissions tutor for the department, and in this short presentation, I'm going to tell you about our Single Honours BSc Medical Physiology. So what does physiology teach us? Physiology is the study of how cells, tissues and organ systems function, how they work together to carry out the activities needed for life. The Medical Physiology BSc at King's focuses primarily on human physiology. Our physiology focuses on health, understanding how normal human functions work, disease, how and why these functions might be impaired during various disease processes, including diseases of specific organs, as well as systemic diseases and metabolic disorders. We also study how our body responds to extremes, how we respond, for instance, to development and ageing, space flight, diving and water immersion, and of course extremes of heat and cold. Without doubt, studying human physiology is essential for developing diagnoses and treatments for diseases, as well as being a solid foundation for all medical sciences. So what will you study when you undertake your degree in medical physiology at King's? Well, like all courses that are based in our School of Bioscience Education, your first year will be the Common Year 1, or CYO. The Common Year 1 is studied by all students enrolled on all honours degree programmes in bioscience. It consists of a range of modules specifically designed to teach you the underpinning mechanisms and foundations of a range of bioscience subjects. Not only does this include physiology and anatomy, but also biochemistry, chemistry, genetics and molecular biology, cell biology and neuroscience, the fundamentals of pharmacology, and some skills for the biosciences. Within the Fundamentals of Physiology and Anatomy module, which is the Physiology Department's contribution to Common Year 1, you will look at excitable cells, such as neurons and muscle cells. You'll study in some depth the cardiovascular and respiratory systems, how they're regulated, controlled, and what happens during disease. You will also look at endocrine, renal, and gastrointestinal systems, including metabolic dysfunction and disorders such as diabetes. Once you've finished Common Year 1 and move into your second year, we would hope that you continue studying for your BSc in Medical Physiology. If at this stage you have discovered a new found passion for one of the other topics in bioscience, you can transfer over to one of our other BSc programmes, for instance biochemistry, biomedical sciences, human sciences, molecular genetics, neuroscience or pharmacology. Alternatively, you could also transfer over onto one of our four-year programmes, such as the MSci in biochemistry, molecular genetics or neuroscience. By continuing to study your BSc in Medical Physiology, we then move on to Year 2. In Year 2, we build on the topics covered in our Fundamentals of Physiology and Anatomy module. We aim to give you a thorough understanding of the works of the human body, how it adapts to the environment, and how it alters in disease states. In order to do this, we give you a number of choices and options in Year 2. All BSc Year 2 students at King's need to take 120 credits in order to pass through to the third year. In order to get these 120 credits, we ask you that you have to take two compulsory 15 credit modules in Physiology. These modules are Endocrinology and Reproduction, which focuses on the endocrine control of food intake, energy metabolism, the responses to cellular and systemic stress, and looks at mammalian reproductive biology in some depth. The second second year module is Exercise and Environment. This looks at the cardiovascular control, the regulation of heart rate, cardiac output and blood pressure. It studies temperature regulation and looks at how we maintain homeostasis during changes in environmental temperatures. It also looks at our reactions to exercise, both light, medium and heavy exercise. It also looks at high altitude adaptation and how the body responds to hypoxia, a lowering of oxygen in the environmental space. Beyond these two compulsory 15 credit modules, 
we ask that you take at least one of the other modules listed in our compulsory core physiology program. These core modules are cell biology, which looks at the physiology of cells, the report on a physiological topic, which is a self-directed library-based project in which the students write essays on topics of their choice guided by an academic supervisor, neuroscience, which is a 30-credit module looking at the workings of the central and peripheral nervous system, and physiology and pharmacology of the central nervous system, a module which looks at both autonomic and pharmaceutically induced responses. Of course, the physiology program isn't just about physiology core modules. We also give you a lot of other options. Once you have chosen your core physiology modules, you must choose other modules from either physiology or other departments to a total of 120 credits. There are other physiology modules to consider, social impact of the biosciences, comparative physiology, cell biology and an introduction to stem cells but from other departments such as biochemistry, pharmacology, anatomy and human science, and even language modules, you can choose from a range of bioscience modules which expand on the knowledge you learnt in year one. There is an alternative route for year two. There is an option at King's to study abroad. Essentially, you travel to a partner university and take equivalent modules from our bioscience education programme overseas. Currently, our partner universities are the University of California, University of North Carolina, the Karolinska Institute in Sweden, the University of Melbourne, and the National University of Singapore. In order to participate in the study abroad program, this will be dependent on achieving satisfactory first year examination results, and places on the study abroad program are competitive. However, this is a wonderful and unique opportunity not only to study in another country, but also immerse yourself in the culture of that institution. At the end of year two, if you've studied abroad, you'll return back to King's and move into year three. Another way to make your King's experience unique is to participate in a summer research project. Summer research studentships are available for the summers between years two and three for all of our biomedical science education students, including those on the Medical Physiology BSc. These studentships are available from both King's and funded outside of King's and are available in all of the research schools across the Faculty of Life Science and Medicine. While undertaking a research project, you'll be exposed to frontline, cutting-edge research alongside a principal investigator and their team in one of our research facilities. Most of our studentship projects are part of ongoing funded research by the academic responsible. You'll work alongside their research team with postdoctoral scientists, PhD students and other undergraduate and postgraduate students undertaking unique research in their laboratories. This research can be varied between in vitro, ex vivo, in vivo or whole body research. Of course, you'll gain unique laboratory experience and skills working in our research centres. Project placements are competitive and will often involve an application form that needs to be completed in collaboration with the supervisor. Project placements might also involve a shortlisting and interview stage, which is all good practice for a career in life science. In year three, we focus on building on your knowledge and putting this into a research framework. All of our medical physiology students have to participate in one research-based module at least in their third year. We have a choice of three research-based modules within medical physiology, and those are the Physiology Research Project, the Physiology Library Project, and Project Design in Physiology. The Physiology Research Project, a 45 credit module, runs within all the research schools within the Faculty of Life Science and Medicine. Academics within the Department of Physiology offer projects relating to their ongoing research, and students spend one semester, approximately 11 weeks, up to three days a week, working in the laboratory, undertaking unique research. This is written up as a dissertation and presented as an oral communication, which is assessed. The Physiology Library Project, a 15-credit third-year module, 
consists of writing a dissertation on a physiological topic of your choice guided by an academic supervisor. You can choose from a range of topics including cardiovascular, respiratory, skeletomuscular, cellular and metabolic physiology and in discussion with an academic supervisor write an essay. The last research module, Project Design in Physiology, a 30 credit module, looks at designing a research project from scratch. Students work in groups to write a research grant application. If you were to pursue a career in physiology or biomedical research, each one of these modules has its merits as they will teach you unique skills required to pursue this career. Once you have chosen one of the research-based modules, you must add other physiology modules up to a total of 75 credits. Currently, the physiology modules available in Year 3 cover ageing, lung disease, cardiovascular and respiratory control, cell physiology, endocrinology of diabetes, extreme physiology, muscle, neuroendocrinology, reproductive physiology, regenerative medicine and vascular physiology. Once you have chosen your research-based module, topped up to 75 credits using physiology modules, you can now add complementary modules from other departments to a total of 120 credits, much like we did in Year 2. The range of complementary modules available to medical physiology students in Year 3 is, unsurprisingly, wide and varied. Your personal tutor and course advisor will help you choose complementary modules from other departments totalling 120 credits. Other departments from within the faculty, such as anatomy and human science, biochemistry and pharmacology, offer a wide range of modules, including theory-based, research-based, and a number of them offer practical components. Some of these modules with a high practical component may be capped, but your personal tutor and course advisor will help you decide. Of course, it's important to talk about what happens at the end of your degree. The department is very proud of its results, with around 85% of our students achieving a first class or upper second class honours degree. Many of our graduates go on to further study, including medicine, dentistry, MSc programmes and PhD programmes. We are also very proud of the praise given to us from our independent external examiners. Our external examiners have commented particularly on our experience and enthusiastic staff, the programme structure and the clear coherence between its different modules. Once you have left King's, you enter a worldwide community of King's alumni. Around 60% of our medical physiology graduates go on to further study. This might be with enrolling in medicine or dentistry, but also in continuing with their biomedical and physiology education by enrolling in master's programmes, PhD studentships, or even attending teacher training college. Of course, not everyone will want to have a scientific career, but the transferable skills that you gain undertaking a medical physiology degree are sought after by a wide range of employers. Around 40% of our graduates enter non-scientific or science-based non-physiological disciplines, such as medical support, bioengineering, forensics or pharmaceutical industry. A number of our students also enter non-science subjects such as law, journalism, accountancy, film industry or banking. I would like to finish by thanking you for taking the time for watching and listening to this presentation. My preferred method of communication is through email, which you can see on the screen in front of you. I also have a Unibuddy profile, and you are more than welcome to contact me through that means. So thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to seeing you at King's to study medical physiology.